Meet Arnold, and today he's in Europe checking out this ancient temple. Pretty creepy in here. Hey, who turned off the light? Hmm. Arnold, you better not touch anything. What's going on? Mother of God, it looks like we're now in the 13th century! And we're here during the Holy Inquisition! Hey. What an awesome trip! Ah. Ah. The main mission of the Inquisition was fighting the heretics. Hey, what did Arnold even do? Ooh, I think I get it now. They mistook your phone for a weapon of black mm. magic. The Inquisition didn't get along so well with progress. When Giordano Bruno proved that the Earth revolves around the Sun, it completely contradicted Catholic ideas. Arnold, you're out of luck. In those days, all redheads were suspected of having ties with the devil. Relax. At first, they'll just question you. Take a seat and calm down. The chairs here are made of iron, specifically so that they can be heated. Confessions were usually obtained through torture. You need to give up heresy, Arnold. During the time of the Inquisition, a lot of heathen rituals were mistaken for black magic. They tried to convert heathens to Catholicism. Come on, Arnold, embrace Catholicism and you'll be free. It's true the Inquisition sometimes let those truly repentant go free. Holy baloney, what now? People often accused others of heresy in order to get rid of them. I don't know if you can endure any more of these tortures, Arnold. Meet the Spanish boot, the heretic's fork, and the Judas cradle. Arnold, I heavily advise you to confess about everything. Okay, by signing this, you agree that you're a necromancer, a magician, and a gnome. The positive thing is that the tortures are over, and the Inquisition in fact did not execute people. After confessing, the offender was sentenced in a state court. Calm down, Arnie. No one will burn you. According to the law, they'll just chop your head off. Wow, it looks like everyone is scared of your ability to release flames from your hands. It seems to be powerful magic. These medieval Catholics are so wild. They believe in every... The year is 1945, the end of World War II and the creation of the UN. 51 countries signed a mandate for the organization, whose goal is global security. Today, the UN consists of 193 countries, and so far, no country has been excluded from membership. The first schools appeared in ancient Sumer about three to 4,000 years ago. In Sumer, school was a privilege and only boys were taught there. So you're in luck, Arnold. Computers haven't been invented yet, so you have to write on soft clay tablets. Foo, what a mess. Yes, you're very lucky to have been born in the 21st century. You're not the first to make a balloon with your own hands. Larry Walters ah. attached weather balloons to a chair and launched himself into the sky, almost to five kilometers. The result of his flight was a $1,500 ticket, a record altitude for a flight on a cluster of balloons, and, of course, a Darwin Award. One girl survived after six hours of clinical death. She lay in ice with a body temperature of 64 degrees, and it saved her life. The first weapon appeared around 400,000 BC. Later, humans invented the first bow and arrow. Then, in 4,000 BC, horseback riders appeared. And the most popular weapon, the sword, appeared around 1,000 BC. 
1930 in India, the British introduced a salt tax. Protesters, led by Gandhi, started a march of 920 miles to the Arabian Sea to evaporate free salt from it. 90,000 people were arrested and salt riots broke out across the country. The very idea of the platform arose back in 1989 with the aim of creating a simulator for studying physics. The beta version of Roblox was introduced in 2004. That is, Roblox is older than the average player. In 2016, Roblox only had 10,000 accounts. In 2019, a billion. Can you imagine how much money you could make? Try to imagine your Angus Barbieri, a man who didn't eat anything for over a year. Shocking doctors. He lived a normal life, going to the toilet just once every 40 days. At the end of his fast, he weighed 180 pounds, having lost 275 pounds. In 1993, Magic the Gathering gave a real boost to collectible card games. Their value depends on the uniqueness of the cards and their condition. For example, the most expensive card featuring Pikachu is valued at $5,275,000. But just by sticking it in your pocket, its value instantly drops to just $50. The maximum number of alter egos in one person was identified in an American criminal named Billy Milligan, who had 24 different full-fledged personalities. Billy was acquitted in court as crimes he committed were actually committed by one of his alter egos, unbeknownst to Billy himself. Beards grow half an inch per month. The longest beard ever worn by a man was 18 feet long. That's as tall as a two-story building. Women have their own record, too. 11.8 inches. Subscribe if you're not even up to that beard standard. Wolverine was originally going to be called Badger Man. So in this case, you are Beef Skunk Pecker Man. Cool. This is the first time in history when a superhero has three superpowers. But you're not the only one with superpowers, Arnie. For example, a sword master from Japan, Isao Machi, is able to cut a bullet traveling at a speed of 320 kilometers per hour. Slavisha Pajkic from Serbia can literally handle 20,000 volts of electricity, and he can also cook food by running electric current through his body. Wim Hof from the Netherlands is able to withstand below zero temperatures for hours and even climb Mount Everest in his underpants. In 1831, Faraday conducted a similar experiment for the first time. For this, we need a coil, copper wire, and a magnet. We insert the magnet in a coil wound with copper, we move the magnet inside, and in each coil of copper, a voltage of 0.01 volts is generated. But due to the large number of turns, everything is working just fine. Look, the largest man in the world ever was Robert Pershing Wadlow. His height was 2 meters 72 centimeters, and he lived for just 22 years. He suffered from a disease called gigantism. With this disease, the brain releases excessive amounts of growth hormone. Therefore, in the process of human evolution, the norms for height and weight were established, and any large deviations are considered disease. One of the biggest stresses is to the heart, which has to circulate 15 liters of blood instead of just the normal five. And the heart often can't withstand such strenuous dynamics for too long. Bingo.